a comprehensive guide to value investing, from novice to expert. Welcome, my friends, to another episode of Improve Your Money. Today, we're about to embark on an exciting journey into the world of value investing. Value investing is a philosophy that has been embraced by legendary investors like Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, and others. It has consistently delivered outstanding results over the years. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore value investing in five levels of increasing complexity, ranging from the fundamentals to advanced strategies. So come along with us as we delve into the principles, strategies, and mindset of successful value investors. Level one, noob, grasping the basics of value investing. At the noob level, it's essential to understand why value investing matters. This investment philosophy has a long track record of producing excellent results, making it a reliable approach for those aiming to grow their wealth. Remarkable investors like Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, and Charlie Munger have accumulated substantial fortunes using this method, setting a powerful example for newcomers to follow. The core concept of value investing revolves around a simple yet profound idea, the search for undervalued assets. Put simply, it's about acquiring assets that are priced lower than their intrinsic value. These assets can include stocks, bonds, real estate, or even unconventional options like claims against Ponzi schemes. In this initial stage, it's crucial to grasp that assets are not limited to physical possessions. They encompass anything expected to generate cash in the future. Whether it's owning shares in a company, holding bonds, or investing in real estate, value investors seek opportunities where they can obtain these assets at a bargain price. The buying and selling dynamics are equally significant. Value investors aren't pirates of finance, they are astute shoppers. When assets are available at a substantial discount to their intrinsic value, value investors seize the opportunity to buy. Conversely, when assets are no longer attractively priced, they consider selling. This dynamic approach involves being on a continuous treasure hunt for undervalued assets, ensuring that investments align with the principles of value investing. Level 2. Novice. Delving deeper into value investing. As we progress to the novice level, we'll explore the concept of intrinsic value in greater detail. Intrinsic value represents an asset's true worth, regardless of its current market price. This understanding is fundamental because it helps distinguish between investments and speculations. Determining value involves meticulous analysis of an asset's cash flow potential. For example, real estate investors scrutinize tenant payments versus expenses, while bond investors focus on interest payments and principal repayment. When it comes to stocks, investors closely examine earnings per share, EPS, to assess an asset's value. The time value of money becomes a core concept at this stage. Money received today is inherently more valuable than the same amount received in the future, as it can be reinvested. This principle forms the foundation of discounted cash flow, DCF analysis, a powerful tool in the value investor's toolkit. DCF analysis calculates the present value of an asset's future cash flows, factoring in the time value of money. To perform DCF analysis effectively, one must forecast the cash flows an investment will generate over time, and then discount those future cash flows back to their present value. However, it's crucial to note that, at this level, you'll begin to appreciate that seasoned value investors, like Warren Buffett, often rely on a profound understanding of an asset's cash flow potential and a margin of safety that goes beyond numerical calculations. True value investing involves going beyond mere number crunching. It's about having profound insight into the assets you're investing in. The margin of safety concept also deepens at this stage. This buffer serves as a protective measure between an asset's intrinsic value and its market price ensuring that even if your cash flow projections are slightly off or unexpected events occur, your investment remains secure. It's a critical principle that reinforces the long-term sustainability of your investment strategy. Level 3. Average. Applying discounted cash flow analysis. Transitioning to the average level, discounted cash flow, DCF analysis takes on a pivotal role. DCF analysis is a fundamental tool in the value investor's toolkit, allowing for a more rigorous assessment of an asset's worth. The role of DCF analysis is to calculate the present value of an asset's future cash flows while considering the time value of money. This method provides a more accurate evaluation of whether an asset is worth its current market price. To perform DCF analysis effectively, 
you need to determine the expected cash flows an investment will generate over time. These cash flows are then discounted back to their present value using an appropriate discount rate. This meticulous analysis ensures that the asset's intrinsic value aligns with your investment objectives. However, it's important to note that while DCF analysis is a valuable tool, seasoned value investors like Warren Buffett often rely on their deep understanding of an asset's cash flow potential and a margin of safety that extends beyond numerical calculations. They emphasize that true value investing goes beyond mere number crunching. It's about having profound insight into the assets you're investing in. The margin of safety principle is reiterated at this stage. This protective buffer remains a cornerstone of value investing, guarding your investments against unforeseen challenges or inaccuracies in your cash flow projections. It's a crucial aspect of your strategy to ensure the resilience and sustainability of your investments. Level 4. Advanced. Evaluating Risk and Return As you advance to the advanced level, your ability to assess risk becomes more sophisticated. Risk assessment is a fundamental component of value investing, involving a thorough evaluation of potential permanent capital loss or inadequate returns. At this stage, you'll delve deeper into differentiating risk among various assets. Different investments carry varying degrees of risk, and it's crucial to understand these distinctions. Higher risk investments demand a more substantial margin of safety, highlighting the importance of a thorough understanding of the risks associated with each investment. When dealing with riskier assets, such as those with higher competition or regulatory uncertainty, the need for a larger margin of safety becomes apparent. This ensures that your investment can withstand unexpected challenges and market fluctuations. It's a proactive approach that safeguards your capital and long-term objectives. The wisdom of value investors like Seth Klarman comes to the forefront in this phase. Klarman emphasizes the importance of focusing on assets that others overlook or disregard. This contrarian thinking becomes a hallmark of your strategy as you recognize that popular investments seldom represent true bargains. By seeking out assets that are disliked or overlooked by the market, you position yourself for potentially greater rewards. At this level, you'll also come to appreciate the role of the margin of safety in your investment strategy. It's not merely a numerical concept, but a practical shield against the uncertainties and challenges that come with investing in higher risk assets. By maintaining a substantial margin of safety, you enhance your ability to navigate the complexities of the market with confidence and prudence. Level 5. Expert. The Art of Discovering Overlooked Assets. In the expert level of value investing, your expertise lies in uncovering overlooked assets and opportunities. Genuine bargains often hide in plain sight, disregarded or undervalued by the broader market. Your toolbox includes various strategies for identifying these overlooked assets. One approach involves reviewing lists of market underperformers. Assets that have faced recent setbacks may present hidden opportunities. Exploring less known markets and sectors grants access to assets that have yet to receive significant attention from other investors. Quantitative screening methods become valuable resources in your quest for overlooked assets. These methods allow you to sift through a vast universe of investment options and pinpoint those with strong potential. By employing data-driven criteria, you can identify assets that may have eluded others. Considering industries or sectors that others avoid also becomes part of your expertise. This aligns with Peter Lynch's unique approach of seeking companies with unexciting names and businesses considered unattractive by conventional standards. Venturing into these less trodden territories increases your chances of discovering genuine bargains. At the expert level, the philosophy encompasses the principles of value investing, acquiring undervalued assets with discounted cash flows and a robust margin of safety. This holistic approach reflects the mindset of seasoned practitioners who understand that genuine value often lies where others aren't looking. It's a culmination of knowledge, experience, and a contrarian spirit that positions you as an expert value investor. Conclusion As you progress through these five levels of increasing complexity in value investing, you'll uncover the depth and richness of this philosophy. It's not merely a set of rules or calculations. It's a comprehensive approach that requires a profound understanding of assets, risk assessment, and the art of uncovering hidden opportunities. By embracing the principles and strategies of value investing, you embark on a journey that can lead to financial success and a fulfilling investment career.
You've transitioned from a novice to an expert in the art and science of value investing. If you found this guide valuable, please like and subscribe to our channel. Here's to your continued success on your financial journey.